So I'm going to show you how I made a uh, frost proof silcock for the outside of my house that um, will not freeze. I actually had one freeze on me one time and um, decided to come up with this arrangement. So I'm looking uh, at the internet here at this uh, freezeless silcock that they have and it was I actually had one by this manufacturer from Wil Woodford and this is the one that I had said that actually froze on me. So what this consists of is the um, silcock, brass silcock, then I have the um, holes adapter, quick coupler, then I adapted it out so that you can get the male uh, connector on the back. So this would go into the side of the, at the house, the pipe coming out of the house. It's just that simple. I've had this for probably 10 years now and I've never ever had an issue with freezing and uh, my house fully is exposed to the west so I get a lot of heavy winds in the winter. So the way this would operate is you'd go downstairs, open up the valve that's in the basement and this would be shut then you could come outside, open this up, and you'd have your water. Then when you're done, close this valve off, go to the basement, shut the valve off in the basement, and then I come back outside, open this valve up, let the water drain out, and then it's just a simple matter of taking this part off, and then I also unscrew the garden hose adapter. All your water's gonna run out. This pipe in the basement's on such an angle that the water is going to drain out and you won't have a problem. So what I've done is in the basement I've turned the water on to fill this up and then I shut it off. So here's what you would do when you want to take this back off. I just open this up, relieve some of the water pressure, pull that off and just let it drain and it'll drain on its own and when it's uh, done it's done so the holes that I have in the basement is basically just six foot uh, holes for your washer okay here you see the pipe the copper pipe coming out of my box seal from the outside comes into the house then I have it up on a hanger that you see there, about a brass hanger <clears throat> for between the joist and I have it uh, anchored to that <clears throat> and it's up on an angle so that the pipe is angled down to the outside so you get a good uh, flow of the water so it will drain that copper. Now attached to that copper pipe that you see in the center of this video that goes to the outside is that six foot washer hose that I talked about and I just loop it around inside of a floor joist and I return it to a shutoff valve so there's the uh, rubber six foot uh, washer hose that goes into the shutoff valve that goes down into my uh, lines the supply lines so that valve is the one that I would shut off or turn on when I want to put water to the outside when I need it uh, in, the, in the cold. Now in the summer I just leave it on all the time. This is just strictly what I have to do when I use it uh, on the rare occasions uh, when it's very cold out to keep the line from freezing the faucet. So this may seem somewhat uh, just a little more work than having to use just a regular frost proof silcock outside but this ensures 100% that you will have no damage from freezing. As I said, I had that, uh, that one freeze on me and burst. And uh, it, was the longest, it was the longest one I could buy, and it still broke and froze. So for me, I came up with this solution, and it's worked excellent for 10, or 10 plus years now that uh, I've never had a problem. Just a few extra steps. But I think uh, well worth it if you want to make 100% uh, sure 
that you do not have any uh, frozen lines and uh, issues. Um, be it uh, stuff like that always happens when you're never home or late at night and uh, like I said this works just excellent no issues whatsoever so the next issue you have is what do you do with the water holes uh, I keep my holes out uh, all year long and um, obviously the water is going to freeze if you don't get it cleared from the holes so I came up with a contraption using air pressure to fully evacuate the holes. So this is what I came up with to um, make sure all the water was out of the, the holes when you're done because I leave mine outside year round. So what you do is you take an air hose I've got the quick connect connector stud here put that on I've adapted it out so that you have the garden hose fitting here so that the inlet to my garden hose would go on here open up the valve it pushes all the water out okay so now I've got everything hooked up I'm gonna turn the air on and it'll blow all the water out Now what I'll do is I'll do it like that, shut that off, let the air compressor build back up, turn it on one more time, never had a problem.